Zoom opened for trade just minutes ago. Quite a pop. Right now, it is up uh, about 75%. Uh, from where it priced, and I'm with founder and CEO Eric Yuan. Eric, congratulations. Thank Welcome. you. So uh, a couple of years ago, Pinterest was valued right around where it is now, around $12 billion. You guys were less than a billion dollars. Today, the public markets have given you a valuation higher than theirs. Are you surprised? Yes, to some extent, yes, I'm very surprised because, uh, you know, our hard work will be very well paid off. But, uh, you know, we never thought about, you know, this is the price. But uh, again, and uh, we are going to focus on execution. The you know, price is out of our control. You uh, have said that you could have maybe grown faster, certainly grown your workforce faster. But you've been uh, careful of the culture. You've also managed to be profitable. Right now, investors clearly expect a breakneck pace of growth from you. Uh, what does this IPO do to the way you look at growth? I think, uh, first of all, you know, we started from SMB customers. We are going to have more and more large enterprise customers. We really want to help our sales team to have a much better sales cycle. I think to be a public company, for sure, more responsibility, plus can really help us, our company brand. And with that, probably, you know, our enterprise business probably will take off from here. How determined are you to remain independent? Um, I think uh, really boils down to our employees, right? You know, I always told our employees, if all of our employees are very happy, they do all they can to deliver happiness to our customers, I think we'll be okay. We'll be uh, an independent company, you know, in the future. And if someday employees are not happy anymore, we do not make a customer happy, I would say, you know, probably we are going to figure out a way, so. Okay. Um in, in Gartner's Magic Quadrant, which enterprises use to sort of gauge uh, I exactly where a company is strategically uh, in terms of how visionary they are, in terms of how effective their technology is, you guys score pretty high. But you're up against the likes of uh, Cisco, yep. you used to work for WebEx, yep. Microsoft, uh, <coughs> Adobe, um, et cetera. How do you look at big company competition? Yep. What's going to continue to give you an edge now that you're uh, publicly traded? Yeah, so those companies like Cisco, Microsoft, Adobe, they're all great companies. We, we, I admire them a lot. I think the way for us to look at the competition is we, most of the time we do not spend on you know, looking at the competitors. We really spend time to care about our customers. We really want to understand what's the pain point from a customer side. We want to be the first the company to understand the customer pain point, to come up with a solution, be the first one to take care of the customers. If we keep doing that, customers will trust us. Ideally, you know, our competitors even do not understand the customer pain point. Then I think we can make a customer happy. I think we'll be okay. We never focus on our competitors. We do all we can to make sure our customer happy. Uh, I believe about 18% of your business is international at this point. Is that yes, right? Yes, that's right. Um, if you're going to grow, a lot of that growth is going to have to come internationally. Does the freemium model that you've had work as well outside the U.S. as it has inside? Absolutely. Anywhere from Japan, from Europe, you just from Sydney, you just go to the, our website, sign up a free account. If you like, you can become a paid customer. And for the big enterprise customers, you know, our sales rep can talk with them. And there's no limitation, you know, in terms of where we should, you know, uh, offer our service. You know, anywhere you can subscribe to Zoom service. Um, I believe about 55% of the 334 customers you have that are paying uh, last year more than $100,000 yep. for Zoom services, they came in first through some free account. Is that number going to stay that high, or do you have to hire more salespeople to really fuel growth? I think in the future will be higher because, higher. you know, the, to be a public company, more brand awareness, we're going to work harder, we're going to have more sales team, we're going to care about the customer more. I think that number will be much higher down the road. Why did Salesforce toss in $100 million <laughs> uh, at this IPO? They, they're probably pretty happy So this Mark, Mark Neal here, I really admire Mark for many, many years. You look at our product strategy, we really wanted to embed Zoom into every business workflow applications, right? Mm -hmm. So that's why we announced a partnership with Jobbox, with Atlassian. Look at the sales team. All the sales reps, they live on Salesforce platform, right, to have much better integration between Zoom and Salesforce for sure will benefit the customers. I think that's a no-brainer for us to work more closely, you know, together to deliver a much better experience to the customers. What happens when the economy turns down? Zoom is very popular among sales forces, and, you know, when, when they're making money, when there's money to go after, spare no expense to coordinate, to understand what regions to go after. 
When the economy turns down and it's been pretty hot for a decade, what happens? What That's do you have not to a do bad thing for us, right? If the company turns, if the economy turns down, guess what? Nobody is going to travel anymore, right? Everybody is going to use Zoom, right? I think this is probably good for us. <laughs> yeah. I, I want to ask you about your own journey to this point. I'm not sure you expected uh, a, a few months ago necessarily to be a paper billionaire which you are uh, today with the stock doing what it's doing. And certainly a few years ago, when you were looking to get into the U.S., your visa was denied several <laughs> times over two years. I believe eight, on the eight ninth times. time. Eight on times. the ninth time. Yes. You, what's your message on the day when your company is going public to people who are crafting policy on immigration? I would say, you know, you look at the uh, United States, this is a great country, American dream. I think uh, over the past 200 or maybe 300 years, this, uh, you know, very open culture, all the Im immigration can come here. I think it's always good in the open culture, you know, to embrace all the people from all over the world. Diversity, embrace diversity is always good, very healthy. I think uh, it's such a short-term, you know, problem. And I think I have a high confidence. I'm very optim optimistic. I, I truly believe this American culture, I think, uh, will last forever. Yeah. You have a video conferencing product, which you said will allow people uh, not to necessarily have to travel, and yet you're based in San Jose, a city I know well. I lived there for <laughs> about 14 years. It's expensive there. Do you stay in Silicon Valley? Is it important to physically be there when technologies like yours are allowing people to live anywhere? I think you do not need to do, you know, live in Silicon Valley anymore. With Zoom, with video conferencing, you can live anywhere with any device. You can talk with the customers and partners. There are so many companies, you know, when they started building several years ago, they do not have any physical office anymore. They live on Zoom platform, right? I think uh, for much better employee engagement, save the cost, employees have a more flexible time. I think uh, I do not see, think uh, there's any issues to leverage the Zoom platform. And you can live anywhere. You can work it together today. What's your take on the American economy, finally, uh, that not only is powering your growth right now, but has helped this company to, to become what it is? I, I, I'm very optimistic. I think the American economy will do better and better in the future because look at it, it's a great culture, open culture. Everybody is working very hard. I think, uh, you know, bright future ahead of us.